Hey everyone, it's been a minute since I've done a video. I am headed to um, Baton Rouge. Uh, my son will be picking up his braces today. So he was supposed to pick them up two weeks ago. Um, but they said they hadn't received them in shipping. Um, so uh, they rescheduled it for last week. And then last week... They called me and let me know that um, they still hadn't received any shipping. So she told me that she had scheduled it further down the road. Um, and that she would contact me if it came in before then. She didn't tell me what day the appointment was rescheduled for. Um, so she called me this morning and let me know that the day that they had rescheduled it for. Um, actually, no one's going to be seen um, in the office that day. And I'm like, I don't even know what day that was scheduled for. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, and I said, have y'all received the raises? Do you even know? And so she had got, um, all the phone me. She put me on hold and she spoke with the guy who did the braces, the fitting for my son. Um, and he actually said that they have them in. So, um, we are going to be headed there. But first, um, I have to meet a lady. I was going to meet her at 11 o'clock this morning, but I messaged her and let her know, um, that I had an appointment at two. So it's now one o'clock, so I'm going to meet a lady to deliver this turkey hen. Um, a friend of mine that I had know, um, I had got some roosters from her a while back. Very nice lady um, who lives about an hour from me. Um, she asked me if I had a turkey hen available because I had posted a video um, and some pictures on my Facebook uh, not long ago. And she asked if I had a turkey hen. And about 30 minutes later, somebody actually, um, another friend messaged me and let me know that she had some turkey hens available. Um, and asked me if I knew anyone who wanted one. Um, and so I let her know. So I went yesterday to Baton Rouge. Um, my son saw, um, an ENT yesterday at, uh, the Children's Hospital. And, um, he basically told me that he needs to see an otologist. It's someone who specifies, spec specifies just in the treatment of the ear, um, so, he will be seeing that doctor soon that he was referred to, um, but while I was in town, I swung by and I got the turkey, um, so I didn't go out of my way or anything to get it, um, I'm not really gonna go out of my way today to get it, to bring it to her because now I have an appointment, um, so while I'm headed there, you know, I'll just drop all the turkey with her, and then I'll be on my way to Baton Rouge. Um, she is gonna meet me, um, close by. She's going to be driving about 30 minutes from her house, and I'm going to be driving 23 minutes from my house. Um, but it's right off the interstate, so it works out best for me. Um, so, I'm about to go, and I have a truck full of children. Today is Veterans Day, so happy Veterans Day to our veterans out there. Mom. Please buckle her in her car seat. She... I have to buckle her in her car seat. I'll be back. So, while I'm waiting for my child to get back out of here, uh, out of the house before I can leave, I'm going to be late. He put on, like, some skinny jeans, and they're just not going to work with braces on his legs. So, because they're going to have to pull his pants, like, up to get to his leg to put them on. Um, I'm sure it won't be a big deal later on, but for right now, the doctor has to put his braces on. So, I told him to go find some shorts. So, I never wear sunglasses so used to like I hated wearing my glasses I really need them I cannot see at all um so I never like wore sunglasses because if I wasn't wearing my glasses and I put sunglasses on I really couldn't see anything I just felt like I was blind um but I was going through some um I went on Amazon and I was looking for some glasses that I could wear like over my glasses and I seen some clip ones like these um and they were cheaper on amazon but i didn't have like i had like seven dollars and 20 cents on my card and with uh taxes that had came out to like 770 so i didn't have enough money to um to purchase them because i don't keep like a whole lot of money i don't have a whole lot of money anyways i don't keep a whole lot of money on my uh, uh bank card um you know just all the time so i went into walmart and i found these these are polarized fishing glasses and they just clip onto your eyeglasses like this it's very easy um so 
I've been going back and forth to the doctor's office with my son like early in the morning and whenever I head towards Baton Rouge the sun is like right in my face like you can see the sun just came out um it's really cloudy today but these are awesome they're like ten dollars with tax at Walmart hey guys so I just want to come on here um and finish out this video that I started yesterday um it is now Friday so we went to the doctor to pick up Raphael's braces for his legs um they fit him very nicely he shouldn't have any discomfort because what they are trying to help him with is the tightness in the back of his um his heels um so basically his feet should like settle down into the braces um and shouldn't cause any discomfort um if he does have any discomfort we will go back to the office um where we got the braces from. We got them from Hanger Clinic. If anyone ever needs um, prosthetics or braces, they were a wonderful company um, and really answered all the questions that I had. So um, I got there a little bit late yesterday, um, but they were, I called them on the phone and I let them know. Battery traffic is horrible. We have been living here in Livonia for like six years, seven years now seven years um and just going into baton rouge is just so stressful traffic is so bad all the time so i got there maybe like 12 minutes late they didn't really mind um and then while i was there i remember that he had physical therapy at four so i got there at like two two twelve um we left just before three o'clock and we were able to make it to his appointment just on time um, my gas light came on saying I had no gas, um, and I was just praying that I would make it to the gas station because, um, we were a little bit ways away from the gas station. I was complaining that gas prices were really, really high, but because I had waited so long to get gas, I ended up paying, like, a really, really expensive, um, amount for gas because I had procrastinated getting gas, so. I hate getting out the gas station, I just don't feel comfortable around other people, um, because I just like being on myself. I don't like being around people that I don't know. So, I procrastinated and didn't get gas. And I almost ran out of gas. But thank God I did not. So, um, he went to his physical therapist. Um, but he had to take his braces off to do physical therapy. Uh, which is expected. So, this morning he did not wear his braces to school. So, when he got his braces yesterday, they told us to let him wear it for like um, a few hours yesterday. A few hours today over the weekend increasing the hours that he has them on and then monday um he can wear them during the whole day um at school because they want him to get used to them um and not push him too far too fast to have them on for a long period of time um but he had them on for about four or five hours today and he didn't really want to take them off um it really doesn't doesn't um have a problem wearing the braces. He likes the braces. He chose um, red and gold um, so that he looked like Iron Man. I um, honestly love the fact that he um, is so positive. You know, even when someone's going on, he still has a smile on his face. Um, last week, he saw a urologist. Um, if you haven't seen my last video about the update for the doctor, so um, he has had some bloody discharge from his penis um, since. The middle of September and so we walked and see our urologist and then she sent us to a nephrologist um, a kidney doctor I saw the kidney doctor with him today um, and basically we are going to rule out um, anything that is abnormal they're going to send a camera up his penis into his um, bladder they're going to check out his prostate um, they're going to see if he possibly has a kidney disease, um, and also, um, in October, I brought him to the emergency room, and they did a testicular ultrasound, um, where they told me all the results were normal, and the, all the results were not normal. There's actually calcification, um, and a cyst inside of his testicles, um, that may be causing the bleeding, but... Again, even though he's, like, going to the doctors and they're being, like, it's pretty invasive, meaning, like, he has to let the doctors examine him. 
Um, and which would be so uncomfortable for me, but as a 14-year-old boy, I mean, like, it's must be really uncomfortable for him. Um, but he's just going day by day, um, you know, not complaining or anything like that. So, just pray for us, pray for our family, because, um, this is just really hard. Um, we do have polycystic kidney disease in our family. We also have, um, prostate, di um, cancer in our family, um, things like that, and so... Basically, we're just going down the list and checking things off that aren't wrong to hopefully pinpoint what is going on with him. So, I'm going to end that right here because I don't want to get emotional because it's just really stressful. So, thank you for watching and y'all be blessed. Bye.